Hi, good evening. Good evening. Hi, Carla, how are you? Fine. Good, 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 very good. Elivaldo, hello. Oscar, Luis. Hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Stephanie, hello. Wilfredo, hi. Carolina, la extrañamos ayer, Caro. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine, how are you? We missed you yesterday. Yes, I know it was the first time that I wasn't in a class, but I have a little accident with my car. I have like a choke. Crash? Crash, yes. Oh, uh, and okay. in the, behind the car. Right. So I was something like nervous. I have to make some, to fix something. So I couldn't you could be present yesterday, but I'm ready now. Excellent, but you're okay, Caro? Yes, yes, it's only no. was the, the crash with the car. No, nobody, no, no, nothing happened to me. Okay. Thank you. All right, that's nice to know. All right, very good. I'm glad you're okay. Okay, guys, so I see a lot of people are joining class already, which that's very good. Let me just get my attendance ready also, please. Mm -hmm. One second. This one. Teacher, good evening. Good evening, how are you? Uh, I'm fine. Teacher, ahí le puse en el chat ahora de que quise intentar ingresar a la plataforma para hacer las tareas y no, no me deja. Y no, o sea, no logra accesar a la plataforma en sí, Will, o, o, o cómo? Eh, llego donde dice módulo 4, pero ya para ingresar ahí ya no me permite. Hmm. All right, ok. Sí, fíjense que yo ahora tuve un día así como medio ajetreado, paso de una clase a otra este día, pero hágame un favor, Will, me recuerda mañana temprano para eh, yo avisarle a mis compañeros para que le puedan dar soporte a ellos, oye. De acuerdo. All right, para que no se vaya thank a atrasar. You. Very good, thank you. All right, very good. So I have Wilfredo also, Kenia, Carlos, Verónica, Ivania, Chávez, excellent, and Carlos Mauricio, very good. Okay, guys, so how was your day today? Everybody had a good day today? Yvette, hi, Yvette. Hi, teacher. Hi. All right, everybody had a good day today or a busy day, so-so day? How was your day? Good day? Good day, yes. Very nice. I'm glad. I'm very happy that you had a, a nice day. Oh, no, Chavez says so-so. What happened, Chavez? Why? <laughs> Too much work? Yes. Okay, I know. Sometimes that's not very nice. Okay. All right, guys. So um, most of us are here already. Yesterday, we were talking about count and uncountable nouns. All right? So that's what we were talking about yesterday. Vamos a hacer como un feedback, un repaso de what we studied yesterday. Especialmente para los que no pudieron estar con nosotros ayer. All right, so yesterday we were talking about count and non-count nouns, all right? So, what do you remember? Yo creo que les quedó allí, se pueden acordar de algo about what we studied yesterday about count and non-count nouns. Do you remember anything about that topic from yesterday? Uh, a count nouns is thing we can count or can divide. For example, ideas, concepts, uh, material, information. Yes. All right, very good. That's uncountable, right, Luis? Yes. Uncountable, very good. So, um, Edwin, if I say pollution, can I count pollution, Edwin? Hi, good night, teacher. Okay, hi. Can you count pollution? Uh, no, 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 no. All right, no, you cannot count pollution. Pollution is non-count noun or uncountable. All right, very good. Let's see, Oscar, can you count? I don't know, Oscar, can you count oil? 
Y eh, oh. oil, no, Hong Kong, no Kong. Yeah, non count, right? It's uncountable or non countable. Very good. Okay, thank you, Oscar. Yesterday, I was giving you some examples about some groups. All right. When we say vegetable, for example, is vegetable as such? Can we count vegetable? Or not? Is vegetable count or no or non count noun? Oh no, count. Non count. All right. Yes. Mm -hmm. If you say vegetable in general, remember that it's a group, and this group is made out of different units. For example, tomatoes, potatoes, carrots, cauliflower, broccoli. All right. So it has different units. If you say vegetable, is non count. If you say bananas, or if you say tomatoes, or if you say, uh, I don't know, lettuce, entonces eso sí las podemos contar, pero vegetable como tal, all right, we cannot count it. A ver, aparte de vegetable, ¿qué otro veíamos ayer que caía de, dentro de esa categoría? Money. Money. The furniture. Furniture. Fruit. furniture. Fruit. Very good. Fruit. What else? Very good. Music. Music. Uh -huh. What about clothing? ¿Y la ropa? Can you count clothing? Clothes. Clothing. And no count. No count. Very good. Ahora, si yo le digo cuántas camisas tiene, yes, I can count the shirts, or I can count the pants, or the shorts. All right, but I cannot say how many clothing do you have? Yo le digo, how much clothing do you have? Y usted me dice, yo tengo un montón de ropa. I have a lot of clothing. All right. Or, oh, I have some. All right. Entonces, clothing cae en la misma categoría de grupo. All right. Compuesto por diferentes unidades. Ahora, vuelvo y repito. Si yo le pregunto cuántos vestidos, usted va y cuenta cuántos vestidos o camisas, camisetas, shorts, whatever. All right. Yes, y luego obviamente money, ¿verdad? Money como tal, as a group, is uncountable. Porque tiene, está compuesto de diferentes unidades. Pennies, nickels, dimes, dollars. All right, entonces igual. Por eso siempre cuando usted pregunta qué vale algo, decimos como, how many or how much? How much. How much. All right, ahora yo le digo 500 dollars. O le digo two dollars or 25 cents. All right, but that is um, the units. All right, like how much it is. All right, very good. Vamos a hacer ahora una práctica de how a uh, countable and uncountable noun. Solo vamos a esperar un ratito más que estén la mayoría. De hecho, ya casi está. Me faltan cuatro. All right, y luego vamos a. Eh, a ver, igual lo que nos quedamos ayer, aparte de los count and non count nouns, we were talking about have to and has to. All right. Yesterday we saw the difference between have and have to. All right. It's not the same. All right. I can say I have a cell phone. Yeah, I have a cell phone. I have a cell phone. Yes. And it's possession. But if I say I have to, ¿qué decimos que quería decir? So you digo, I have to study. What do, what do I mean by I have to study? Obligation. It's a what? Obligation. Yes, it's an obligation. Yeah. All right. No es ni suggestion, ¿verdad? It's an obligation. You have to study. Uh, you have to eat. All right. No es tanto una obligación, pero sí, ¿verdad? Porque si no come, eh, you die. All right, so you have to drink water. All right, okay. A ver, ayer creo que nos quedamos, recuérdenme si estoy mal, tenían que hacer oraciones diciendo I have to algo. En eso nos quedamos ayer, no. ¿O fue como la, finalizamos, no, no. la finalizamos, la finalizamos. La finalizamos. No hicimos nada. Para... All right, entonces todos me dijeron I have to, I have to, I have to. Yes, teacher. Solo la conversación. Yes, no me acuerdo de la, las oraciones que me hicieron de Hasta. No les dejé oraciones, ¿o cómo no? 
Ah, sí, dejó. Preguntó, oraciones. preguntó. Nos dejó sí, preguntó unas oraciones hacer, de, los, de lo que usted puso, unas diapositivas. Carlos Mauricio, can you give me an example of something that you have to do? Tal vez en su casa, en su trabajo, con su familia, something that you have to do, Carlos. I have, I have a, a cut material. You have to cut material. All right. Okay, very good. Let's see, Chavez, tell me something that you have to do. Ya voy, Carito. All right, Chavez, can you tell me a sentence? Okay, teacher, I have to improve my English. Very good, yes. All right, very nice. Yes, Paro. Uh, I have a question. If I say I have to pay my credit in Banco Agricola, it's okay the, the use of half? Yes, yeah. Okay. You have to pay your credit, of course. All right. Okay, thank you. Very nice, thank you. All right, Karen, Beatriz, tell me a sentence that you have to. I have to iron the clothes. Ah, you have to. Y no le agrada, ¿verdad, Karen? <laughs> no, <laughs> not at all. I want to. All right, that's okay. All right, let's see. Elivaldo, can you tell me a sentence about something that you have to do? I had to drive all week. Luis, tell me your sentence. Uh, yes, teacher. Um, I have to study every day in at night. Yes, you have to study every day at night. Very good. Okay, so very good, guys. Now, what happens if it's negative? What, what do we say? That one is a positive sentence, all right? You say, I have to study, I have to work, I have to pay my credit a Banco Agricola, all right? You have to improve your English. But what if it's negative? How do we make that one? Se usaría el don. Uh -huh. All right, yes, Caro, can you continue? Caro, right. give me an example using don't. I don't have to assist to, re to the reunion tomorrow. Oh, you don't have to. Very good. You don't have to go. You don't have to assist. So you don't have to attend. Very good. It's not okay, a okay. Okay. All right. Very good. Yvette, can you give me one example with don't have to? Eh, teacher, yo no he estado en la clase y realmente no, ahorita no le, no logro captarle. Cuál, right. o sea, sí sé que está usando el hub, pero no, no logro captarle muy bien. Ok, sí, no se preocupe, Ivette, sí, yo sé que usted no estuvo en clase ayer. A ver, estamos usando el have to, Ivette, para uh -huh. eh, demostrar, digamos así, obligación. Ya no es solo el have de tener, ¿verdad? Sino que es have to. Y ya se vuelve obligatorio. Yo tengo que pagar el, al banco. Yo tengo que estudiar. Okay. Yo tengo que mejorar mi inglés. Yo tengo que trabajar. Tengo que comer. All right. Ese sería I have to eat, for example. All right. Ahora, uh -huh. si no tiene que, tengo que comer. O sea, oh, yeah. mañana no tengo que ir al súper. All right. I don't have to go to the super. Uh, sería como I have, I have in... In, ¿Cómo se dice mañana? Tomorrow. tomorrow uh -huh. I have tomorrow work. Yes, I have to work tomorrow. Muy bien, Ivet. I have okay. to work tomorrow. Muy bien. Carla, okay. thank you, Ivet. Very nice. Carla, Lisa, okay. tell me another sentence, please. I have to send email. Yes, you have to send emails. All right. Now. Yesterday we were seeing have to and has to. All right, acuérdense que have to, bless you, Caro. Have to is for I, you, we, they. That's have to. Y el has to lo ocupo para quién, Wilfredo? 
este, para el jato para, sirve para, para eh, una obligación. Para claro, obligar. sí, sí. Muy bien. Ahora, el has to, Wilfredo, ¿con quién lo ocupo? ¿Con qué pronombres lo ocupo? El has to. El pronombre eh, has, has, have o has. Has. Con, con tercera persona, tercera ¿Qué persona. Es Wilfredo, muy bien, ajá. All right, entonces lo ocupamos exactamente. Tercera persona singular, he, she, it. Si yo voy a decir, Karen, a ver, Karen, mire a Carlos Eduardo ahí, dígame. Solo con verlo ahí, ¿qué tiene que hacer Carlos Eduardo mañana? ¿Cómo sería? Dígame, tell me one sentence about Carlos Eduardo. He has to work. Ok, yes, all right, that's ok. Very good. A ver, Karen, uh, can you tell me a sentence about Carlos? He has to do a report. Ah, he has to do a report. Very good, all right. A ver, Chávez, mire a Stephanie Michelle. ¿Y qué tiene que hacer ella? Uh, she has to stay here. Ok, she has to. All right, entonces, acuérdese que el have to y has to, ambos denotan obligation. All right, but have to is for are you, we, day. Usted no puede decir Luis have to. All right, eso está incorrecto. Decimos Luis has to. All right, ahora, cuando decimos don't, don't have to es for are you, we, they. ¿Y qué pasa con he, she, it? Willy, ¿qué pasa con he, she, it? ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo voy a decir que no tienen que? Por ejemplo, yo digo, Evelyn no tiene que ir al mercado mañana. He, he no has to eat to go to the supermarket. Ok, ¿cuál es el auxiliar que está usando, Willy? El don, has. ¿Por qué el don? Eh, porque es negativo. Yes, es negativo, tiene razón, pero acuérdense que estamos hablando de Evelyn, tercera persona singular. ¿Cuál yeah, auxiliar usó? Okay. Has. Sí, ese, ese ok, pero como es negativo, oh. ¿qué voy a usar? ¿Don't? ¿O voy a usar otro? No, eh, va a ser ese, en este caso, she don't. ¿Seguro, Willy? ¿Como que se llama Willy Ernesto Tobar Chacón? <risa> <risa> eh, <coughs> mm, ya me puso... Ya le puse eh, toda. A ver, el Ivaldo yeah. nos va a ayudar. Y si no nos ayuda el Ivaldo, nos ayuda Carito o Edwin. A ver, el Ivaldo. Ajá. Este sería das. Das o doesn't. Ahora, a ver Edwin, ayúdenme a terminar, a terminar de explicar acá. Yo voy a decir, por ejemplo, Evelyn doesn't has to go to the supermarket or I'm going to say Evelyn doesn't have to go to the supermarket. ¿Cómo me queda Edwin? Yo creo que sería la segunda. Ah, very good. Yes. All right. Evelyn doesn't have To. Ahí regresa otra vez a have. ¿Por qué? Porque ya tiene el does. En negativo, doesn't. All right, se los voy a poner aquí para que lo puedan ver. All right, just give me a second here, guys. Veamos entonces. All right, entonces decimos Evelyn o she, ¿verdad? Evelyn doesn't have to go to the market. All right. ¿Por qué regresó el have to? Porque tenemos doesn't. All right. Porque es negativa y ocupó el auxiliar. Ahora, si yo digo, Evelyn tiene que ir mañana, tiene que ir al mercado. Evelyn has to go to the market. Yes. Entonces, si es afirmativa, decimos Evelyn has to. Si es negativa, decimos doesn't y el verbo, el verbo en este caso have to, regresa a su forma base. Have to. Ya no decimos, esto que voy a escribir aquí es incorrecto. Evelyn doesn't has to go to the market. Esta que está, acabo de escribir aquí está mala. All right, eso no es posible. 
¿Por qué? Porque si estoy usando este auxiliary, I cannot use has anymore. Regreso a la, a la forma base del verbo, ¿de acuerdo? Yes. Así, esto va a suceder en terceras personas singulares. Ella, él, esto, o mi mamá, o mi esposa, mi esposo, mi hija, mi jefe, el carro, lo que sea que sea tercera persona. All right, vamos a hacer doesn't, have to, if it's negative, and if it's affirmative, we're going to say has to, okay? All right, guys, ¿estamos bien con eso? Very good. Teacher, yes. teacher una consulta. Eh, ahí esa era la, era negativa. Y si queremos hacer la pregunta, ¿cómo quedaría formulado? Ah, ok, muy buena pregunta, Luis. Ahorita vamos a regresar a la pizarra aquí. All right, entonces tenemos esto. Does Evelyn have to go to... Oh, my goodness. Does Evelyn have to... Go to the market. All right. Okay, Luis. Podríamos emitir el nombre de Evelyn por she, ¿verdad? Claro, sí. Y si Evelyn es su hermana, se puede decir, does my sister have to go to the supermarket? All right. Ahí lo podemos eh, sustituir por nombre, pronombre, o whatever. Okay. Si okay. debe ser una tercera persona, sería así. Y si se fija, como llevamos el does, tenemos el have to otra vez. Ajá. Uh -huh. yeah. Thank you, Ahora. La respuesta, ¿cuál sería? Si fuese afirmativa, yo le digo, ¿Does Evelyn have to go to the market? Y usted me dice, sí. Yeah. Ajá. Yes. ¿Y es qué? Yo le pondría, she have to go. En respuesta larga, yes. She has to she go has to the go okay. market. Mm -hmm. Si es corta, yes. Yes, she has. No, mm -hmm. yes, she does. O, she does. yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, she has to. Tiene que ponerle el tú, porque si usted solo pone yes, she has, pareciera respuesta de presente perfecto. Okay. All right. Vamos a presente perfecto. Si lo quiere contestar con el has, tiene que ponerle el tú. Yes, she has to. O yes, she does. Pero no lo puede dejar así. Yes, she has. Esta está mala. Okay. Esa sería mala, porque esa es la respuesta corta del presente perfecto, tiempo que todavía no estamos viendo. All right? Okay. Yes? Okay, teacher. Thank you. Igual si yo le digo, do you have to, eh, regálenme algo, do you have to what? ¿Alguna pregunta con do you have to? To... Do you have to pencil? Do you have to what, Willie? Do you have to pencil in, in, my, in your house? Acuérdense que con el have to después tenemos que usar un verbo, no un sustantivo. Do you have you to buy to... shoes? Do you have to buy shoes? All right. Yes. Si mi respuesta es afirmativa, voy a decir yes, I do. Yes. I have to. All right. Pero no lo puedo dejar con yes, I have. Esa está mala. Mm -hmm. Ok. O contesta con el yes, I do, porque estamos, podemos usar el yes, I do, porque mi pregunta está. O lo mm -hmm. contesto con have to, pero tiene que ir el have y el to. Solo el have, no. All right, guys, you understand? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Excellent. Very nice. Ok. Si gusta, siga pensando por ahí. Voy a tomar la asistencia. And if you have any more questions, you can ask me. All right. Carlos Eduardo Artiga Berríos. Present. Uh, Carlos Elibaldo Abrego Mármol. Present. Mauricio Gamero Aguilar. Present. Carolina Zúñiga Suárez. Present teacher. Stephanie Lisette Molina Rodríguez. Present teacher. Stephanie Michelle Zúñiga Hueso. Present. Perdón, eh, no dije Edwin Alberto Rodríguez Lobo, pero ahí está, ¿verdad? Present teacher, aquí estoy. Gabriel Beltrán Pérez. 
All right, Ivania Jaminet Dominguez Hernandez. Present teacher. Thank you, Ivette Lizette Figueroa de Calles. Present teacher. Thank you, Karen Beatriz Morataya Segovia. Present. Kenia Claribel Peñate Rivas. Yeah. Present teacher. Está lloviendo fuerte por aquí. Sí, igual aquí empezó. Thank you. Wilfredo Arevalo Ortiz. Present teacher. Thank you. Mardoqueo Ramírez Pérez, Maylin, Janet, Manzano, Montoya. Present. Oh, all right, very good. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Present, teacher. Parado. Okay. Present, teacher. Ah, okay. Verónica Arelia Ayala Ramírez. Present, teacher. William Ernesto Tobar Chacón. Present, teacher. Elizabeth Cisneros Rosales. Present teacher. Evelyn Beatriz Ventura Paredes. Present teacher. Carlos Josué Chávez. Present teacher. Carla Lisette García Lemos. Present teacher. Juan Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Present teacher. All right, guys. Very good. Any more questions? Ah, Mailing. Hi, Mailing. All right. Any any questions, guys? Or you are okay with everything? Questions about have to and has to? No? All right, very good. Vamos a hacer una práctica. Eh, a ver. Ya vamos a hacer este de aquí ahorita. Los voy a mandar a los grupos. All right. Y la idea es, como van a trabajar en pareja, one of you is a student A and one of you is a student B, okay? For example, if I'm working with Carlos Eduardo, I am a student A and Carlos Eduardo is a student B. Quiere decir que yo le hago las preguntas donde dice student A y él me contesta. Y luego él me hace las preguntas de student B a me. All right, hay que tomarle foto y los mando a los grupos. All right, just give me one second. Okay, a student A. Ustedes van a decidir de entrada quién va a ser A y quién va a ser B. All right, so please take a picture. Lo voy a subir un poquito. All right, can you take a picture y lo mandan al grupo de una vez? Ready? Excellent. All right, ahí está. Ya lo mandaron al grupo. Very good. Okay, so, number one, for example, si yo soy student A, yo estoy trabajando con Carlita, y le voy a decir, Carla, what do you have to do after class? Estamos usando el have to. All right, entonces Carla me puede decir, I have to eat dinner. Si en caso no hace nada, tiene que cenar. All right, y así vamos. La idea es, no tienen que escribir nada. The idea is to practice speaking. Okay? Yes? All right, guys. When you finish, para no interrumpirles, me escriben en el grupo de WhatsApp y me dice, teacher, group one finished, o sala three finished, o sala seven finished, ¿ok? Para no interrumpirles. Ya más o menos voy viendo eh, cuánto tiempo más les puedo dar a los que no van terminando tan rápido, ¿de acuerdo? Ok. How many are we in class right now? Me quedó un grupo de tres, entonces ahí se van turnando, ¿de acuerdo? Let's go. No se les olvide avisarme en el grupo de WhatsApp para poderlos ir, ir tomando en cuenta sus tiempos.
Teacher, se cortó la llamada del grupo. Está lloviendo muy fuerte y se pierde la señal. Ah, ok, Kenia. Le gusta que la, la vuelva a meter. Sí, se puede. Sí. Vaya, perfecto. Kenia. Perdón. ¿Con quién estaba? No recuerdo el nombre de él. Pero si no me equivoco, estaba en, la, en las siete. Sí. A ver, permítame, ya la veo. Ah. Genial, la voy a mover dos veces porque me... Res... Ajá, la voy a mover dos veces, pero va a regresar con Carlos Josué Chávez a la sala ocho. Vaya. Hola Chávez. No le oigo, tiene el micrófono apagado. Fíjese que me sacó eh, Zoom. Estaba con Kenia y cuando volví ya no estaba ella en, en el, es que en, en el grupo. Ella. Ya la acabo de volver a mandar. Lo voy a mandar a usted a la sala 8 de regreso, oye. Ah, gracias, gracias.
Me volvió a sacar, teacher. Yo la mando, no se preocupe.
All right, guys, so I was checking almost every sala was able to finish, right? Yes. Teacher, in my group, we have a question. When we are talking about the people, is half or is half? For people. The people. The people. The people has to. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Excellent. Very nice. All right, guys. So everybody was able to finish. Everybody was able to participate. Yes. Yeah. Todos participaron. Sí, hicieron las preguntas, contestaron. Yes. Excellent. Yes, teacher. Very good. That's the idea, yes. right? The idea is for you to practice your speaking with your classmates. All right. Let's go here. We're not going to check it. That is just an activity that I just wanted you to do with your groups. Vamos a irnos right now with the book. All right. So let's go here, guys. This is the conversation that we saw yesterday, de hecho. All right. So here we were talking about has to and have to. All right. Solo para recordar. A ver, maybe Yvette, si es tan amable de leer. Aaron y Caro, can you read some, please? Hola, teacher. Hola. Hello. Yes. Can you read Aaron? The conversation que acabo de compartir. Okay. Um, the new material juice arrived in the morning. Tell Max that he has to store everything. Where does uh, he have to store the boxes? He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use the lift? They have to use the lift, but as until the secretary feels. He's going to say they can use it. Then I'm going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. Excellent. Thank you, ladies, very much. All right. Okay. We're talking about have to and has to. Fue así como introducimos el tema yesterday. All right. Now we're going to work on this together, guys. It says number three. Read the conversation. Caro and Yvette just read it for us again and circle the correct answer. Number one, Max and Ivan have to or has to store boxes? Has to, teacher. Have to? All right. Yes, that's the correct answer. Very good. Number two, Aaron doesn't have to or Aaron doesn't has to help store the boxes? Aaron doesn't. Doesn't, doesn't have, have to, doesn't has to. Doesn't have to. Excellent, very good, thank you. Number three, Sam doesn't have to or doesn't has to help. Doesn't have to. Doesn't have, have to, very good. And the last one, the secretary have to or has to say that they can use the lift. Perdón, teacher. Tengo que con contestamos nosotros o es abierto para todos, para dar para cualquiera. Ah, okay. Yes, has to. Thank you, Carito. Maybe has to. <laughs> has to, yes, has to. All right, very good. Yeah, the idea, guys, cuando hacemos estos espacios es cualquiera puede contestar y la idea es que todos, ¿verdad? O todas. Pero si nadie, pues las igual, Carito, no se preocupe. All right, very nice. Okay. Let's do this, guys. Vamos a ver. Vamos a leerlo acá. Um, Verónica. Hágame un favor, Verónica. Léame donde dice affirmative. Todo lo que está debajo de affirmative. Please. And Carlos Eduardo, can you read negative? Okay. I have to store these pages. They have to take everything to the warehouse. Mm -hmm. We have to ask for permissions. The truck driver has to bring the materials and he has to use the light. The lift. Very good. Yes, Vero. Thank you. All right, Carlos Eduardo, negative. Okay. I don't have to store this package. They don't have to take everything to warehouse. We don't have to ask for permission. The truck driver doesn't have to buy the material. 
he doesn't has to use the lift. All right, a ver. Revisen, quiero que todos y todas revisen donde dice negative. Ahí hay dos errores grandes. All right, ¿cuáles son? The to drive does has to. Tendría que ser el verbo have. Excellent, very good. Elivaldo, very good. Donde dice the truck driver doesn't have to. Hay ese error de dedo, obviamente, ¿verdad? Entonces, si usted lo tiene impreso, corríjalo. All right. Igual el último. He, he doesn't have the same thing he doesn't have to. Yes, please. Así que si lo tienen impreso, por favor, corríjanlo ahí. The truck driver doesn't have to bring the material and he doesn't have to use the lift. Ok, acuérdese que hablamos del verbo eh, regresa a su forma base, have to. All right. Now, here. We're going to work on this right now. Complete the following sentences. Use the correct form of have to and the words provided. Con la información que está aquí, with this information, I want you to make sentences. Have to or has to. Okay, let's do it. No sé. Cinco minutitos para que hagan esto. Menos. Tres minutos. All right. Individual. Let's do that right now. Terminamos eso y tomo la asistencia. Finish, guys? Yes? Yes, teacher. All right, very good. Yes, yes, teacher. Excellent. All right, vamos a ver. Voy a escoger a cinco acá. Um, Ivania, no sé si está por ahí. Ivania, are you there? Okay, maybe not. Uh, Maylin, okay, Ivania, ¿está por ahí? Uh, number one or number two? Number one. Okay. Um, the company... Have to buy new material. The company have to or the company has to? Has to. Yes, porque solo es una, right? The company has to buy new material. Very good. Maylin, can you do number two? Teacher, uh, yo acabo de entrar a mi casa y no, no entendí mucho por qué la señal se venía conectando al Wi-Fi. Okay. Uh, pero... Um, because your partners uh, have to has to has to. I know. I'm sorry. No se preocupe. All right. Okay. Uh, Luis, can you do number two, please? 
Okay, teacher, your partners, how to pile up container? Yes, your partners have to pile up. All right, very good. Wilfredo, can you do number three? The uh, audience uh, has to uh, not the uh, agents does 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 doesn't has to sign the letter. Doesn't have to, very good. Doesn't have to. All right, regresa have to, ¿verdad? Porque tiene el doesn't, very nice. Um, Carlos Mauricio, can you do number three, Mr. Bonilla? Teacher, I'm sorry, I have a question. The no. agents are not plural? No, como no, como no, perdón. Yes, ahorita lo estoy viendo, thank you. Ahí sería, sorry guys, oops. Si es que de repente no le vi la S. <risa> es que right. la estaba tapando el, sí, el, 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 tec, el cuadrito de texto. They don't have to, sería. The agents don't have to, perdón. All right, the agents don't have to uh, sign the letter. Very good. All right, uh, Carlos Mauricio. Thank you, Caro. Na, number four, Carlos Mauricio, can you do number four? Mr. Bonilla, how to decide new models have to or has to has to excellent very good all right very good and let me see oscar can you do number five the groups the group uh, does not has to work you the late the group doesn't have to work until late. Very good. Okay, nice. All right, questions? Esa nos quedaba, the company has to, ¿verdad? All right, very good, guys. Revise que las tengan así. Excuse me, excuse me, miss. Yes. Uh, the, the number five, you say doesn't have to? Sí. Okay. Yes, Nina. Okay. All right, very good, guys. Well, I'm going to stop sharing. I'm going to take attendance and luego les digo what else we're going to do. All right, Carlos Eduardo Artiga Berrios. Here I am. Uh, Carlos Elivaldo Abrego Marmol. Present. Carlos Mauricio Gamero Aguilar. Present. Sure. Carolina Zúñiga Suárez. I'm here, teacher. Edwin Alberto Rodriguez Lobo. Yes. Present teacher. Stephanie Lisette Molina Rodriguez. Stephanie Michelle Zuniga Hueso. Present. Thank you. <coughs> Gabriel Beltrán Pérez. Ivania Yamilet Domínguez Hernández. Present teacher. Yvette Lisette Figueroa de Calles. Present teacher. Karen Beatriz Morataya Segovia. Present. Eugenia Claribel Peñate Rivas. Present teacher. Wilfredo Arepano Ortiz. Mar Present teacher. Thank you. Mardoqueo Ramirez Pérez. Maylin Janet Manzano Montoya. Present Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Present teacher. Thank you. Rosalina Alvarado. Present. Verónica Arelí Ayala Ramírez. Present. William Ernesto Tobar Chacón. Xiomara, Present, Xiomara Elizabeth Cisneros Rosales. Present. Evelyn Beatriz Ventura Paredes. Present. Carlos Josué Chávez. Present, teacher. Carla Lice, thank you. García Lemus. Present, teacher. Excelente. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Present, teacher. Great guys, very good. Okay, so right now, this is what we're going to do. Seguimos trabajando in the book here. And I want you to do number six, your turn. 
create a conversation with a partner. Imagine one of you is new there in the company. So you have to give instructions about how some things have to be done. All right, aquí les dan como una idea of the conversation. Hello, Kenya, welcome. Hi, how are you? Good. I have here the list of activities you have to do. First, you have to, y usted le dice las actividades que tiene que hacer. Ah, okay, where do I have to? In the, then you have to. All right, este sería como, podría ser un modelo de cómo empezar su conversación. All right, no necessarily, si usted no lo quiere seguir, haga, crea o haga la conversación like from scratch, like completely new, or you can use it as a base. All right, entonces, you're gonna go to your groups, one of you is the new employee and the other one is the one that is helping you, all right? La idea is to use have to. So for example, you say, okay, you have to send a report every week to your, to your supervisor, all right? Ah, but when do I have to send it? Ah, you have to send it every Friday, all right? Whatever you want to do, siempre relacionado con trabajo y usando have to. All right, or don't have to, como usted quiera. Ahí hay un inicio de conversación. You can use that one or you can use a different one, whatever you want, okay? Do you understand? You guys understand what you're going to do? No, no entiende yes, lo que vamos a hacer, yes, yes no? Yes. yes, yes, teacher. Okay, vamos a crear una conversación. All right, eso es lo que nos está pidiendo el manual ahí. Si se fija en el manual, hay un ejemplo base, digamos, que usted puede empezar así su conversación. Si no quiere usarla, no la ocupe y empiece de cero ustedes. All right? La idea es que in your conversation, I want you to use have to or don't have to. Ok? Y siga una conversación ahí. Ok? Asegúrese de escribirla porque me la van a decir. Ok? Yes? All right, let's go. Les voy a dar que unos... Nueve y media regresamos para asegurarnos que tenemos enough time. Let's go, guys. Seguimos trabajando en los mismos. Okay. Kenia, Ameilín, Xiomara, Rosalina, Ivania, Ana Oscar. No sé si no le salió la invitación. No, a mí no. Ivania, ¿con quién estaba trabajando antes? Estaba con Estefan Elisette, pero ella va saliendo del trabajo. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. La voy a unir en otro grupo entonces, Ivania, oye. Ok. Thank you. Xiomara no les... Ah, sí, ok. Ahorita voy. Vaya, Ivania. Hola,
Hello, Oscar. Hola, Oscar. Teacher, me sacó la, el Zoom de ahorita me acabo de conectar de nuevo. Estaba con Stephanie. Eh, Stephanie. ¿Cuál es Stephanie? Ah, Stephanie Alvin. Stephanie Michelle. ¿Eh? El Zoom me sacó y me volví a conectar ahorita. Vaya, ahorita lo, ahorita lo mando. Vaya, Oscar.
Did you finish, Stephanie? Finish. Excellent. Thank you. All right. We're going to wait for everybody else to come back. All right. Let's see, guys. Um, what about Sala number 10? Luis and Xiomara, can you tell us your conversation, please? Hold on. Me, teacher, comienzo. Okay, Willie, yes. Willie, who you, uh, you were working with Carla Lisset. Yes. Creo que creo que Carlita todavía no ha entrado, creo. Okay, so Willie and Carla Lisset, tell us your conversation. <laughs> okay, empiezo. Uh, really, Carla? Really. Yeah. Hello, Carla. Hi, William. Hi, you are you? Sorry. Who are you? <laughs> no, I confound that. Vamos, vamos a comenzar. No, sorry, teacher. <laughs> no se preocupe, Carlita. It's okay. Vaya. Hello, Carla. Hello, William. Who are you? I'm a fly. What do you have to do? I go to visit my family and you? Are you going to work? Really? It's Sunday. Yes, I have to seminary. I'm sorry. Take <laughs> care very much. You too. I see you later. Bye. All right. Bye, Carly. Okay. Very good. A ver, Willy. Solo asegúrese que cuando dice I have to, eh, del seminario, ¿cierto? Eh, ya, yeah, ajá. Uh -huh. Por eso dije, yes, yes I, have, I have to. ¿Y el verbo que le sigue cuál es? I have to go. Yes, you have to go, you have to attend. All right, cualquiera de las dos. Very good, Willy. Thank you, William and Carlita. Okay. Very nice. Okay. Uh, Carolina. Practicamos mucho con mi compañera. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Carolina. Welcome to Bananas Store. Hi, how are you? Good. I have heard the list of activities you have to do. Um, first, you have to wash your hands. Second, you have to use the uniform. Here, you have to prepare the cupcake and coffee. And remember that you don't have to eat while you prepare the food. Uh, you don't have to attend client. You don't have to use the cell phone. Um, do you have any question? <laughs> yes, where do I have to prepare the coffee? Uh, in the coffee machine, there you have cleaning this area. Any other question? No, that is all, thank you. <laughs> okay. Very nice. Wow, Carito, there's a long list that you have to, you don't have to do. <laughs> I know. <laughs> right. okay, thank you. All right, let's see. Any Anybody else volunteers? As, as, antes que los empiece a volunteer yo. Kenya and me, teacher. Very good, Chavez. Okay. <laughs> Okay, Kenia, si gusta, eh, yo, yo empiezo, ¿verdad, Kenia? Sí, sí. Vaya, pues, eh, sí, sí. Carlos, eh, okay, ok, hi, Kenia, welcome. Hi, Carlos, how are you? I'm good. What about you, Kenia? I am here with a lot of work to do. Me too, Kenia. Have a good day, Kenia. I'm busy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, teacher, this was a short conversation. Yes, that's okay, Travis. That's fine. That's fine. Thank you. All right. Uh, Nina. Nina's. Okay. Carlos. Carlos, are you ready? Hello, Carlos. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Just starting now. Hello, Carlos. Welcome. Hi, Nina. How are you? Good, Carlos. I have here the list of activities 
you have to do. First, you have to do supervise the employees of the clean department. Nina, what, what kind of activities do, do I have to make? Okay, Carlos, how to take every day in the morning a.m. the employee's assistant. Okay, Nina. You're welcome, Carlos. Excellent, very good. Uh, Nina, um, eh, empieza en la, donde usted, donde usted empezó, Nina, please. Hello, Carlos, welcome. Siga. Hi, uh, Nina, how are you? Eh, good, Carlos. I have here the list of activities you have to do. Um, first, you have to do supervise the employees. Nina, you have the, to, se puede decir nada más, you have to supervise. No, you have to do supervise, porque ahí serían dos. You see, you see, Carlos, I told you, but <laughs> Carlos <laughs> told me. <laughs> ah, okay, okay, that's but, okay. Okay. Uh -huh, okay. Ahí solo dejamos un verbo, ¿verdad? You have I, to supervise. I know, I know, Miss. Okay, excellent. Very good. All thank right. you. Very good. Thank you. Igual, Carlos, cuando decimos eh, tipo de actividades, por decir, se escribe kind, pero decimos kind. What kind of activities? Okay. Excellent, Carlos. Very good, Nina. Great. A ver, okay. anybody else? Me faltan varios grupos. No? No more? Luis Abrego en I, teacher. Okay, very good. Ready, Luis? Yes. Right. Hello, Luis. Welcome to the company. Hi, Shumana. How are you? Excellent. I have the activities that you have to present. First, you have to send the email after you have to go to the meetings and you have to do the report. Okay, what do I have to? And you have to go to the principal office, please. Okay. Okay. Finish All right, very good. Thank you. Nice. All right. I see Edwin's hand. Um, Edwin, who did you work with? Okay. Uh, with Karen. Okay, very good, Karen, ready. Y luego creo que Evelyn me había levantado la mano también. All right, Edwin, yes, and Karen. Okay, hello, Edwin, welcome. Hi, how, how are you? Great, I have here the list of activities you have to do. You have to send emails, you have to complete this form, and you have to send a report every week okay where do i have to send email you have to send emails from supervisors mail to your colleagues okay do you have any questions and uh, no thanks okay okay Okay, very good. Thank you, Edwin. Very nice, Karen. Thank you. All right, Evelyn. Eh, who did you work with, Evelyn? Veronica and Ivan. Ah, very good. Okay. Okay. Good morning, Veronica and Ivania. Welcome. Good morning. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Uh, I have some activities for you. Veronica, uh, you have to prepare report and Ivania have to schedule a training. Okay, I do it in a moment for when you need it. Uh, 
Okay. Bye, Evelyn. I need a report for tomorrow. Of course, to our employees or only manager. Uh, Ivania, only manager. Okay, thanks. Thank you for your help, Veronica and Ivania. Very good. Nice ladies, very good, thank you. Excellent guys, very good, well done. All right, let's continue here then with your book. All right, so here we are. Estamos, we finished this. We finished this exercise two, exercise six. And of course, we finished exercise seven. We were taking turns sharing the conversation to the whole class. All right, now let's talk about this, page 13, unit one. I will be able to. Uh, Elivaldo, si me ayuda con la lectura, I will be able to. I will be. I will be able to tell about how I where people can stay certain production I me workplace. Sigo, teacher. Yes, please. Number one. Mm -hmm. Number one, ask a classmate about the product the store I where they can store team. Okay, very good. Where they can store them. Very good. Number two, it says, thank you, Leonardo. Then we have here, listen to your teacher read the following features of some products, then practice with a partner. Here we have the feature and the product. All right, so here we have the weight is 170 grams. Television is 112.43 pounds. And refrigerators is 340 pounds or 380 pounds. Dimension, 19.3 centimeters uh, times 13.7 centimeters times 1.03 centimeters. Television is 41.3 inches times 26.7 inches. All right, refrigerator, uh, 48 one eighth inches. And the quantity for tablets is 200. For television is 100. And for refrigerators is 50. All right, so here we're talking about numbers. Recuerden, and this is something that you probably know. In English, el punto tiene tres formas de decir. En matemática, como estábamos viendo ahí, es point. En ortografía es period. Y en eh, dirección en electrónica o emails es dot. All right, so el, es el mismo punto, pero diferente forma de llamarle. De acuerdo. All right, en matemáticas es 7.5, por decir algo. All right, cuando usted dice su correo es uh, gmail.com y cuando es ortográfico decimos period, ok? Es el mismo punto, pero usted no puede decir 7 period 5, no, decimos 7.5, ok, guys? Perdón, teacher, eh, point por más, down por correo y el period es, ¿por qué? ¿para qué, perdón? Para ortografía. Ortografía, thank you. Very good. Teacher, me, me podría repetir de eso, me parece dato. Sí, claro. Ahorita, paso para, para escribirlo. Sí, ahorita se los, se los voy a compartir igual acá. A ver, voy a borrar esto. All right, en más, para el punto decimos point. Para email decimos dot. Y for grammar, for writing, cuando escribimos, por ejemplo, decimos period. Ok, es el mismo puntito. Ok. Ok, guys. Okay, I'm gonna stop sharing here. Very good, okay. So let's continue then here. I'm gonna share again my screen with you. Whoa. Okay. All right, let's see. A ver, um, Chavez, can you read the weight of the tablets? The weight, dimension and quantity of tablets. Chavez, please. Good teacher. Thank you. 
170. Yeah, 170 grams. Okay, what about dimensions? And dimension, uh, dimension uh, 19 point three. Yes. Point three. Symmetry. Uh, X. Times. Times. Cuando vemos el por es times. Times. Uh -huh. uh, time is the thing. Point seven centimeters. Time. Uh, one point zero three centimeters. Okay, and the quantity? One hundred. Uh, so you are in two hundred. Two hundred. Thank you. All right. Very nice. Thank you. All right, veamos aquí. Evelyn, what about television? Weight, dimension, and quantity. Your microphone, Evelyn, you're muted. Uh, quantity? Yeah, the television, weight, dimension, and quantity, all the information. Uh, and dimension. Uh... For for forty 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 one point three mm. inches inches uh -huh. um, times when excuse me times para decir por Time, es, times uh -huh, times como tiempo solo que con ese time. uh, mm -hmm. times uh, twenty twenty six Point seven inch. Yes, inches. Mm -hmm. Inches. And quantity? Uh, 100. Excellent. Very nice. Thank you. Stephanie Michelle, uh, what about the refrigerator? Weight, dimension, and quantity? Um, 48. Uh, one, como se dice? El... One eighth inch. One eighth inch. Okay, and the quantity? Uh, 50. 50, very good. Nos faltó, Stephanie, el weight del refrigerator. Ah, one hundred, no. 340. 340 qué? Um, no sé cómo se dice. Ah, okay. No se preocupe, pounds. ¿Cómo? Pounds. Uh, three hundred four twice. Yeah, pounds. 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 Yes. Three hundred eight pounds. Very good. Thank you. All right. Very nice, guys. Acuérdense que pulgadas son inches o one inch. En el caso que mide una pulgada es one inch. Si mide más pulgadas sería inches, pound es libra or pounds, grams, y luego tenemos centimeters, ¿ok? Questions, guys? No questions, excellent, very good, all right. Pul pulgadas, ¿cómo, ¿cómo vio que se escribía, Ticho? ¿Cómo se eh, escribe o cómo se dice? No, ¿cómo se escribe? Inches, ahorita voy. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Very good. All right. Then we have here number three. Read the conversation again, like we teníamos eh, before. Which conversation? Teacher, excuse me. Yes. Cuando uh, cuando dice este la dimension refrigerator. Uh -huh. Forty eight. Yo lo leo un octavo. Sí, claro, one eighth. One eighth. Ajá. One sí. eighth, ok. Ahora, cuando decimos octavo, como es un nombre, un número, Ajá. perdón, final, ¿verdad? Entonces, sí. sería eighth. Un octavo de pulgadas es eso. Ajá. All right, eighth. All right, el, el TH que decimos, porque es un Ajá. octavo. 
si fuera un cuarto por decirle o ajá, sería one fourth un tercio one third Right. Ah, entonces, entonces un one H para decir las pulgadas. Inches. Inches. Sí. All right. Okay. Excellent, Carlos. Very nice. Okay. Let's do this one here. It says, read the conversation again to answer these questions. I don't know which conversation, but anyway. Can one person store all the televisions oneself? Where can you store 50 refrigerators? Can you store the tablets on shelves? A ver, here we have number one. Can one person, mire cuántas televisiones, televisores teníamos aquí. 100, all right. Can one person store all the televisions? Yes or no? What do you think? Una sola persona puede almacenar todas esas a uh, hundred televisions yes or no I guess no 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 no. Not, no. Right? no I don't think so all right so you can say no they can't all right number two where can you store 50 refrigerators donde podríamos almacenar 50 refrigerators where in the warehouse in a warehouse. warehouse yes of course Very in a big yeah, the big, the big warehouse. <laughs> big warehouse, right? Very good. Can you store the tablets on shelves? Do you understand shelves? No. Estantes. Estantes, yes, estantes. Ah, okay. Shelves, oh. very good. All right, can you store the tablets on shelves? Mire que son 200. <clears throat> no, no, teacher. I think it's too many. It's too many. Yeah, too many tablets here. All right, very good. Now, tomorrow, <clears throat> guys, and nos vamos a casi detener por acá. Tomorrow, we're, we have a class tomorrow, yes. Okay, tomorrow we're using this. Um, tomorrow we're going to review how to use can for information and possibility. Ah, okay. Can is, uh -huh. is un verbo modal. All right, y lo podemos usar dependiendo de contexto, lo podemos usar para habilidad. Usted dice, I can swim, I can drive, I can speak English. Esa sería habilidad. Pero en este caso, mañana, we're going to see can for uh, to give information and possibility, not ability. All right, ahí va a depender cómo lo usamos, en qué, bajo el contexto que lo estemos usando. All right, pero perfectamente usted puede usar can también para habilidad, all right? But in this case, it's possibility, all right? Or uh, an information and possibility. Eso lo vamos a ver mañana, all right? So I'm gonna take the last attendance, guys, so you guys can go rest. Carlos Eduardo Artiga. De Present, teacher. Thank you. Carlos Elibaldo Abrego Marmol. Present, teacher. Carlos Mauricio Gamero Aguilar. Present. Carolina Zúñiga Suárez. I'm here, teacher. You, Edwin Alberto Rodriguez Lobo. Present, teacher. Stephanie Lizette. <coughs> Stephanie Michelle Zuniga Hueso. Present. Gabriel Beltran Perez. Ivania Yamilet Dominguez Hernández. Present. Yvette Lizette Figueroa de Calles. Present, teacher. Karen Beatriz Morataya Segovia. Present. Kenia Claribel Peñate Rivas. Present teacher. Alfredo Arevalo Ortiz. Mardo Present Geo, teacher. Mardo Geo Ramírez Pérez. Smile. Ed Manzano Montoya. Present teacher. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Present teacher. Rosalina Alvarado. Present teacher. Verónica Arelia Ayala Ramírez. Present. William Ernesto Tobar Chacón. Present teacher. Xiomara Elizabeth Cisnero Rosa, Cisneros Rosales. Present. Evelyn Beatriz Ventura Paredes. Present. Carlos Josué Chávez. Carla Lizet García Lemos. Present teacher. Thank you. And Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Present teacher. 
All right. Eh, hoy se queda un ratito conmigo Carlos Mauricio Gamero y mañana Carolina Zúñiga. All right. Okay, teacher, before we finish, um, Kenia Claribel Peñata está cumpliendo años hoy, así que quería pues felicitarla aquí en el grupo, que los cumpla feliz y que cumpla mucho más. Excelente, Kenia. Felicidades, Kenia. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Gracias, right. gracias. Gracias, Kenia. Okay. ok, guys, thank you. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye, teacher. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, bye. Bye, Kenia. Bye, teacher. Thank you, Carito. All right, a ver, Carlos Mauricio, ¿cómo está, Carlos? Ok, teacher. Very good. A ver, Carlos, no sé si tiene alguna pregunta de lo que hemos visto estos tres días. Bueno, lastimosamente ayer tuve problemas con internet y no, no me pude conectar. Sí, sí. Ahorita, ahorita voy así paso a paso y voy comprendiendo todas las situaciones. Ok. Perfecto. Por eso. Cualquier duda siempre voy preguntando las cosas, ¿verdad? Claro que sí, Carlos. Aquí estamos para... Ah. Así es. Entonces, lo que... El repasaron del tema de ayer, ¿verdad? Ajá, que vimos los contables. Ajá. Ajá, lo que no le comprendí mucho fue lo, lo how much y how many, la diferencia. Eso no me quedó muy claro. El how much, Ajá. Carlos. How much Ajá. siempre lo va a usar para... Hacer preguntas sobre algo que no es contable. How much? Algo que, ajá, algo que no es contable. Exacto. Y el how many. Como un, un, un ejemplo que no es contable. Yo le podría decir cuánto tráfico hay, hay en San Salvador. How much ajá. traffic is there in San sí. Salvador? Ok. Le puede decir a lot or very much. ¿verdad? Pero no me dice uno, dos o tres porque el tráfico no es contable. Así es. Ok. Yo le pregunto cuántas, cuántos um, libros tiene. How many. Ahí sí es many porque books, aunque usted tenga mil libros, los puede contar. Ok, entonces ya me estoy comprendiendo. How many son contables y how much los no contables. Exacto, Carlos. Sí. Contable y uncontable. No. Yes. Sí, solo esa pequeña duda me había quedado porque no okay. había comprendido bien. Muy Así bien. es. Está bien. Bueno, cualquier cosa sí. estamos para apoyarle, oye. Bueno, pues ahí estamos. Gracias, Carlos. Tratando de aprender. Muy bien. Bueno, pues. Ok, descansa entonces. Bueno, buena, buenas noches. Bueno, usted, bye.